Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, The Learning Hub World. I hope you're all doing great. And today is the second part of the Google Chrome extensions that I'm discussing with you. In my previous video, I discussed how we can split a screen uh, using tab resize. Today, I'm going to be discussing with you one great whiteboard option. That's right. If you're a teacher and if you have started teaching online, you know that how difficult it is to actually grab students' attention and especially teach subjects like mathematics and science virtually. So here I have an amazing tool which is a whiteboard and today I'm going to talk about the Jamboard. That's right. Now this is again a very simple application available in the Google Chrome store. In my uh, earlier videos I explained to you how you could download it. Today I'm going to show you how we can actually use it. It's very simple friends. All you have to do is whenever you log in into your account you will see at the right side these nine dots just click on it now i told you that jamboard is a google app so when the google app gets uh, when you download it it gets added into your application so it will be right here that's right jamboard okay it's a whiteboard that can be used while teaching online through google meet i am going to click on it and we will have the Jamboard coming up. There you go. Now, all you have to do is whenever you want to open a new whiteboard, you click on this plus sign at the right bottom corner. Okay, so there's a new Jamboard which will come up. Now on this board, you can write, you can highlight, you can do really cool stuff. You can actually take pictures online and show it to the students and make life very easy for them. So this is my Jamboard. Let me tell you a few things about Jamboard. Now, first thing I'm going to talk about is the background. Jamboard has various backgrounds available. You can have a dotted background. You can have a ruled background or this grid line background, another form, a blue color background and a black color background, whichever you like. If you want to give a, a blackboard kind of a feeling to the students, you can have this back, uh, back color background as well. Now, here are some of the tools which are available for uh, using Jamboard. The first one is a pen. So this has various options. You have a pen, you have a marker, a highlighter and a brush. Now, since my background is already black, you can use any other color. I'm opting for white because it's the most prominent on a back, black background and you can write down whatever you like. And if you have done a mistake, you can either use the undo button or you have the eraser simply do this or the third option is clear frame so if you have too many things you can just do clear frame so for example I am going to go okay and I'm going to write 2 plus 6 is equal to 8 see how convenient it becomes now if I feel that I have you know I want to erase certain things I can just do this or I can do a clear frame let me change my background to white so that I can use various colors now here is an option called a sticky notes if you want to keep some reminders or if you want to do add some things into your whiteboard you can simply write something on it and save it so this sticky note can change colors as well. You have a green, blue, pink, and an orange. And here you go, your sticky note is ready. The next option is adding an image. Now in this, when you are trying to teach um, a certain scientific concepts and you want to show the children the diagram and maybe do some things on the diagram, all you have to do is uh, you have to upload it now you can either upload it from a device from your own device you can do it through google image search you can do it through google drive okay 
go back and you can do it to photos if you have some photos okay so i'm going to do it through google image search now suppose i am trying to explain the structure of a flower so structure of a flower and you will have all your options available okay all you have to do is pick the diagram pick the image that you like the most all right you can do it as per your convenience whatever you like as we know hibiscus is a very common flower which is used uh, to teach children initially the structure of a diagram of a flower so let me take this i have selected this and there you go uh, the image will load up and as soon as the image loads up what you can do is you can resize your image so for example i can make it big okay so that my students can see it clearly and i'll just take it a little up and then the last option that i have is a laser so you can see this white dot so when you're trying to explain you can use this laser to ch uh, to show the children the various parts like this is the female reproductive part of a flower and that's the stigma and that's what we can see here then the stigma goes down to make the style and the style goes down to make an ovary so uh, these are the options available and you can also share this so suppose i have this ready and i want to share it to my students uh, or i can share it to people or to groups whatever you require you can share it so here you go this is the jam board you can either save this jam board or you can just simply erase the whole thing you can download it as a pdf you can save the frame as an image you can rename it or you can simply delete it or make a copy out of it whatever you need and there you go this jam board is a very beautiful way a very beautiful white board that you can actually use to teach children while you're conducting your google meet so this is the um, virtual learning tool which is very convenient and a must have for all teachers and easy access and easy to use so i hope you all liked this video please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more updates and teachers this video is for you so please do like share and comment on this video and keep tuned as i come up with some more amazing tricks and tips for virtual teaching classes till then bye bye see you soon